Listen, I know I'm gonna have a good time anytime my good friend, Mr. Charles Jones, is in the house. That's my musical buddy. Yep. It makes the happy place even happier when music is involved. I always say a room without music has no personality, so we like to have that in the room. Mm -hmm. So that's why my good friend is over there. Okay. Listen, here is something else that makes me extra happy. I love me some animals. Any animal lovers in the house? <laughs> yup. David Reihard is here on the show today, the animal expert. He brought me some friends to come and say hello. <laughs> yeah. Okay, listen, last, what's that last season? Last season, they decided they was gonna surprise me with a baby giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't that sound cute? <laughs> it sound all friendly and lovable. And it looks, you know, little on the picture. But imagine it, a baby giraffe right here in your face like this. Y'all, this is me seeing the baby giraffe. And you know it's a baby because David holding the bottle, but the bottle about big as me. Look, <laughs> at least it's the size of my head. And I'm like, oh, uh, Okay, this thing is awful big, and it's a baby. It was up there to the ceiling. Do you see my face? Do you see my face right there? <laughs> Before I knew it, I don't know, his legs was awful long, so I needed to move to the side to give him some leg room, because he was a little too close. And before I knew it, I ended up in Mother Mary's spot right back there. <laughs> and then if you notice, Andy right there is on the side of me for protection. It don't look like he's looking, look, look, he just looked just as confused as me. I had no time for that baby giraffe because that scared me to death, okay, Charles? <laughs> y'all, you don't wanna, listen. But I always told y'all you will always see me try, so we gonna try it again today. So David, the expert. <laughs> he has brought me some more animal friends today and I'm gonna try not to run from it. And don't you run either, okay? <laughs> But in the meantime, I got some other good guests that we could just sit and talk to, and I ain't got to worry about you being more here. <laughs> She's an award-winning actress and singer, and you know her from hit shows like Martin and Everybody Hates Chris, and now The Neighborhood. Give it up for Tashina Ono! <laughs> I'm so happy to see you. I am so happy to see you as well. You are doing such a wonderful job. Y'all give it up for Jay Hub. Thank you. Filling people's lives with joy and your magnanimous personality Aww. and your beautiful personality. How are you, love? I am wonderful and, <laughs> and just happy to be here at the happy place and to have you back. And I see, because now the last time you was here, yeah. we gave you a fan. I was going to ask you, do you still use it? But you got it around your oh, neck. I got it right now. So this fan goes back. I did this show once before when she first started the show. Yes. And uh, she gave me this as a gift. I have uh, menopause, I'm full on menopause. <laughs> and I have hot flashes. The fan is on right now to keep is me it, nice it's and on. cool. Oh, oh, it's on. Is it keeping you cool? Oh, it's keeping me cool. It got you looking good too. I look good, honey. Stop, stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Can you turn it off? Yep. It goes, listen, you made that for me, baby. I did. That is Let me like, get a little air. That's gonna be worth a lot of money one day. One day, <laughs> you too can have a fan, okay? <laughs> oh my goodness. What do you, okay, you know I got animals coming later in the Ooh. show. Elephants? Why, why you want an elephant? I love elephants. You do love elephants? You know what, I got an elephant on my neck right now. Hold See, on. elephants represent black women to me. Is that what they represent? I thought that, well, that's good luck. So I, was, yeah. I thought they represented good luck. Yeah, but they, they, they take care of the whole pride. They, they represent like, to me, you know, they find the water, they follow the moon. 
So I've always been prone to loving elephants. And dogs, of course. And but. dogs. Mm -hmm. Would you name an elephant anything? What would you name it? Tashina, of course. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tashina? Uh-huh. Well, I got animals coming later. Maybe I ain't got no elephants, though. Okay. But maybe we can name one after you? Yes! You please. like that? Yes! Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now, Tashina, we on the roll here. So last, well, I, lately, I like trying new things. Like I just told these guys. And so I got to learn how, well, I tried to learn how to ice skate. I'm still working on it. Very dangerous. I've discovered that. Well, for, for a woman of my age, she's like, very dangerous. It's dangerous? I'm always afraid of breaking my ankle. Yeah, that's what I'm I'm a roller skater. Of. I like roller skates. Okay. Four I could, wheels. I could stay off the floor on the road. Me too. The yeah. four wheels. Yeah, I like the four wheels. I can't do the rollerblading thing. Yeah, no. We can hang out together. <laughs> and then I got to learn how to swim. Nice! Are, are you... That's so nice! Are you a good swimmer? Huh? No, you're not a good swimmer? No, girl, I don't know how to swim. No. But, 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 it's on my bucket list because I taught my daughter. I, when Elijah was three, I told her, I was like, listen, if you get into the pool and you drown, mommy's gonna die saving you. <laughs> I won't, no, I told her, I was like, I won't be able to save you because mommy doesn't know how to swim. So you have to learn how to swim. And she did. So she and, had, yeah. learned early. She learned early, like loves the water. I've always had a fear of water. I don't know why. Do you think you ever learned or tried to learn? I, I did two lessons in my pool. I took two lessons, because that is on my bucket list. I, you know, I, I have to do it for my daughter. I just have to do it before I leave this earth. And uh, it got cold, and I was like, it's too cold out here. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> See, I get that, because I can't concentrate if I'm too cold either. Yeah. But and it costs a lot of money to heat up that pool. <laughs> well, we got to figure that Don't out. Don't laugh at me. That's real. It's... You laugh. Who has a pool in here? Who has a pool? How much does it cost to heat up that pool? See what I'm saying? <laughs> Let's talk about your dogs. You got... Because you had a dog when you came. Last time, you got a new dog? Yeah, I got two new dogs. Two? Yeah, my daughter... Okay. There's Cha-Cha and Chena. Okay, so one, the one to the left uh -huh. is Ch Chena. That's my kill. baby. The other one is Cha-Cha. Chena, I love, because she was the littlest one. They, there were three sisters. I don't know where the third sister is, but Cha-Cha I gave to my lovely makeup artist, Beth, Beth Carter. So we kept the sisters together. And uh, Chena is just, I, I ended up getting her because my daughter wanted a dog so bad. They always And do. I was like, well, okay. As long as you don't have children right now, so mommy's gonna get you the dog. That was a good result. <laughs> yeah, so I got her a mini uh, Dutch owl, mm -hmm. Stomper, beautiful dog. Oh, mm -hmm. so I told her, I was like, I'm not ready to be a grandma, so yeah, get your practice. Cause she's 19 now, you know what I mean? And yeah, At a certain the dog. point, women get to wanting to nurture. Because we're natural is nurturers. That what it is? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I love some animals. Now, I heard your dog's got a chewing problem. What does that mean? <laughs> they, don't, they don't like hair. <laughs> this is them chewing <laughs> your hair? <laughs> she does not like hair. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. So I had, I, like, I had like fake hair in my head. You know, because we do a lot of appearances and stuff. Yes. And, yeah, the, the, yeah, she tore my hair up. So I can't leave hair around her. Uh, clearly not. And you hair know. is expensive. It's ex expensive. <laughs> well, no, no, uh-uh. Will you stick around for a little bit? Of course I will. Well, we we'll Tashina will be right back. Uh, I love this show. We're back with Tashina Arnold. How does it feel, how does it feel to be back with uh, the neighborhood? Oh, we are so grateful and so happy to be back on the neighborhood. Yes. And thank all of you for your support. This is my show. And not only we want, I want, I want to personally thank everybody that was with us, actors and writers during the strike. Right. Um, and because people think, <clears throat> uh, tell them, Hollywood is not just comprised of actors and singers and dancers. It's comprised of people, see these people out here? Mm -hmm. Holding the cards, working the cameras. <laughs> this is Hollywood. So, when Hollywood stops, a lot stops and, and lives stop. So, 
It was a necessary thing, and we got through it. Yep. Thank God. Uh, we got half our season, so we'll take half over it. Nothing. Yes. <laughs> yes. But we're back, and we appreciate everybody's support. Definitely. <laughs> you, I'm so glad she said that. It's such a great show. It's one of my favorite shows. Fun. I'm my so favorite. happy you like the show. I love it so much. I watch it all the time. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. Continue to support these actors and all of these shows as well. And I hear you got a, a singing daughter. Oh. She's following in your footsteps. Oh my God, she's expensive as hell, but she... <laughs> my daughter is living her best life off of my money. And <laughs> it's, it's rewarding. What happened for, just to watch her growth, it, uh, it's uh, out, like me looking outside of my own life, uh -huh. but with different opportunities. Um, because mommy has established, you know, great relationships. And that's another thing about being in business. Within any business, whether or not it's Hollywood or you working at McDonald's, you have to create good relationships. That's be right. Be kind to people. It's not about how Just good you are, but how a, good you are to yes, work with. be okay. a kind person. Yep. And blessings will always come to you. You better tell it. Always, 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 always. Yes. Always. So to watch Elijah grow. Like, she didn't want to sing. No. And Jennifer, I knew she could sing. I knew she could sing. And I, I used to do the car rides. Uh -huh. I said, okay, we're gonna do the car rides. Cause we used to fight every morning. I was a single mom. And she, I was like, oh, how am I gonna get this kid to stop driving me nuts? Cause we used to have to drive an hour in the car. And I was like, okay, stop playing your music, Tashina. Play music that she wants to hear. Uh -huh. So I started playing music that she wants to hear. And she, you know, starts singing. And I just started recording her. That's what I do to my son. <laughs> I be like, yeah. Singing. Yeah. And so that's why I, I say Elijah saved my life because she made me really understand that it's not about me. It's not about me. Mm. It's about the gifts that God gave me that's and right. I have to share it with others. And now I have an go. offspring that by the time I leave this earth, She's going to continue a legacy of ministering to people, yes. of, of, of helping people, of being a, of good service. Mm -hmm. We all must be of good service. We all must be of good service. She got a great mother. <laughs> yes, she does. And she gonna sing me down. I got you. <laughs> well, with Tashina, we'll be right back. We are back with Tashina Arnold. Okay, so since we had so much fun the last time we did our Rift Off, oh, I Lord. thought we'd do it again. Oh, Can we Lord. do it again? Jennifer, you know I, I'm not, I don't sing like you. Yes, you listen, do. Listen, listen. Yes, you <laughs> Okay, listen. Girl. Comedic actress. Singer. <laughs> Listen, you're a singer too. That's where I get it from. Okay, so we're just gonna play a little game, okay? All right. All right. So we calling it. You say it, we'll sing it. Y'all got that? All right. Okay. So our audience is gonna ask some questions, and whatever they answer is, we gotta sing it. Okay. But I'm gonna let you lead this thing, okay? Oh lord. Okay. So oh, where lord. is Stephanie? <laughs> oh, Stephanie. Come on down. How are you, Stephanie? I'm great. How are you? We are wonderful. Let us get a little closer to you. Okay. Come on. Okay. You ain't got COVID, do you? No. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> okay. What is something you to say to yourself when you look in the mirror? Damn, I look good. <laughs> can you handle that? Okay. I can handle that. You need Damn, Charles to I'm drop looking. a beat for Charles, you? Charles, can you drop a me? Drop me a beat. Let okay. me hear it. Let me hear it. Girl, Look, Stephanie, did she do all right? She did. She said, you damn. Me. Listen, Stephanie saw that. I ain't mad at you. Did that. I said, well, damn. 
Listen, oh I done, see, when I throw the cards, that means that's a compliment, okay? I normally throw yeah. a shoe. Yeah. But I couldn't get to the shoe. shoe. It, co it comes from the church. It comes it from does. the black church. It just hits your spirit. Yeah, like, yeah. When you're okay. singing in the black church and you, you do good. It's a compliment. You throw something. Just then, don't throw nothing hard. Tashina, and then sometimes you get hit. <laughs> yes. Yes. And you back up. You know. <laughs> okay, okay. We back. We back. We back. Sorry. Who church girls, for? church okay. girls. Okay, where's Nicole? I hope my, my cars is in order. Okay, okay. How are you, Nicole? I'm well. I'm great. How are you guys? Oh, we are one. Beautiful. Thank you. Cute. How old are you? I'm 20. Freshly oh, 20. God, I wish to be in my 20s. High five. Yes. Listen, you can make mistakes now. Okay. Not when you get to your 30s. All right. Work it out. All right. All right. Here we go. I actually got right. advice for you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> What's something you say during a breakup? I don't like you anymore. Oh. You know, that's... Oh. You're wise. Thank you. Very wise. You. Because when you don't like a person, love never matters. Oh, oh okay. It looked like you got some sub. Oh, girl, I got, I got, I, yeah, look, don't, let me, don't make me tell you my business. <laughs> you ready? You want to get me or you want him to hit you with some music? Okay, Charles. <laughs> Feel that thing. <laughs> you see her face? <laughs> this is how my face looks. <laughs> Well, I don't like you anymore. So just walk out that door. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, you get on my nerves. I'm sick of you. Go tell them you don't like them no more. That's from experience. Dead don't Dead get in bad relationships. <laughs> Made me throw my card again. Okay, oh, ooh, I need Amy. Where's Amy? Come on Whoa. down, Amy. Let her bless her. Yeah. <laughs> how are you, Amy? Good, how are you? I'm wonderful, thank you for being here. Okay. That jacket, I like that jacket. <laughs> Amy, like, that jacket jacket asked the question. Okay. <laughs> What's something you say to your kid? Because I said so. Mm, I could get this. Oh, I got this. Down. Oh, she said, Jennifer, get out the way. Oh, I yes. got this. One. You want to get it? To no, me? no. I, I want to see. Let me you call set it up. Let's do some two part harmony. Oh, Lord. Let's so, see. What are you saying? I'll, I'll two part harmony with you. I'm going to follow you. Wait, what you tell her? Because I said so. So we can take it all gone. Yeah. Because I said so. I got you. Well. Because, because I, I said, said so, ain't gonna tell you no more. Because, because I, I said so, oh, because I, I said, said so, ain't gonna tell you no more. Because I said so. But you give so much, yes I do, and I want to give you love, because I said so, because, because I said so, because I said so. She gave me two mics, y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you are amazing. Oh, my God. Amy, you are awesome. Y'all get Tashina on a hand. Tashina will be back later in the show. You don't want to miss this because I said so. The Neighborhood Hair Sunday at 8 on CBS and streams on Paramount Plus.
the next day. We'll be right back. Yeah, y'all. Oh, because oh, I said so. Lift your hand. Lift your hand. I am excited about my next guest, that he's back. And I am even more excited about the friends he brought to, for me to see. From the Wildlife Learning Center, please welcome David Reihard. Come on out. Okay, okay, okay. I'm so happy to see you back. It's, well, it's so nice to be back. Thank you for having me. And you brought some friends for me We to brought meet? some friends again. Okay. Our first friend laid this, and that's for you. you lay this? That. Yeah, lay that. Wow. Let's meet our first animal. Okay. This is one of the largest species of birds in the world. It's not the largest, it's the second largest. And it is an emu, and she, here emu. she comes now. Here All she right. comes now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, they're about half the size of ostriches. Ostriches are the largest species of bird in the, in the world. They could be about 300 pounds. Emu's about half that size. But she is very friendly. You can pet her. And very good. Just look at it coming over. And this is half red. an emu egg that you have. Hey, girl. <laughs> you want your egg back? <laughs> what you looking for? No, she's very nice. Go ahead and pet her. Hi, <laughs> I'm Jennifer. Right. What's now, unique e about emu them? Emus are found in Australia, okay. whereas ostriches are occur in <laughs> Africa. And what you girl, we look close. Them Hold on. Is the females, of course, lay the eggs, but it's the males that incubate them. Really? Yeah. So the female lays the eggs, and then she goes off and. Um, spends her life uh, by herself, and the, and the we'll male stays back and, and incubates them. Wow. She Emus seems... are very fast birds. They can run about 30 miles an hour. So I can't outrun so They're them. extremely quick. They seem very conscious and aware, like, what's happening? Well, they're, yeah, she's aware. They're not known for their intelligence, though. No? no. <laughs> there are much smarter birds out there. And we'll meet. Girl, what are you looking for? <laughs> I'm so happy to meet you. I could rub her head? Yeah, you could touch her head. Okay. Yeah, she's very, very nice. She won't hurt you. That's okay. <laughs> What's next? Okay. Let's... You are so sweet, though. All right. We'll say goodbye to the <laughs> emu. Oh, my God. It's so nice to meet you. And we're going to wait. We're going to wait till she. Uh, Moves off before we bring the Leaving next out gracefully. On, Thank so you for coming don't. back. Come back again, okay? Thank you. <laughs> so beautiful. Is that amazing? Yes. Yeah, you can keep that. And I'll keep this? Yeah, keep that egg if you're interested. Okay, okay this because... next animal. That was cool. Is an absolute beauty. Okay. This is, let's see. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Here you go. What okay, is he eating? So this is Juno. And Juno is a red fox. But you might be wondering why she's not red. Yeah, why isn't she red? So this is what we refer to as a melanistic red fox. And um, wow. melanin, the skin or fur pigment, melanin is what gives her that, that dark appearance. Uh -huh. Sometimes they're referred to as silver foxes. Have you ever heard that, yes. that term? How old is, <laughs> how, is it a girl? Yeah, this is a girl and she's three years old. They Will she are, get bigger? No, she won't get any, any bigger. They're in the dog family, Canidae. And so like dogs, you know, dogs don't live that long, 10 to 15 years. So kind of the same. Choose. So, and red foxes are one of the largest, if not the largest species of fox there, there is. And even though she looks she fairly large because that fluffy coat is yes. only eight to 10 pounds. So it's not That's a the big, coat, huh? Yeah. Well, thank you yeah. for stopping by to yeah. see me. <laughs> What's next? <laughs> All right. She's pretty bonded to Camille here. Okay. Very so beautiful. Our, our next animal. What do we have? This is an animal you had mentioned on one of my previous visits, uh -huh. that this was something you and your, your son were considering getting for a pet. Okay. And so I thought, well, let's... Oh, my God. Let's show it to... Yes. You. <laughs> okay, so he doesn't. He, he said, doesn't "Don't want touch to come me." In. But this is Merlin, and Merlin is a blue and gold macaw. Now you had mentioned that you were interested in yes. maybe getting a parrot. And Will they, they talk? They're um, well. This one only says a few things. He'll say hi, Merlin. Hi, Merlin. He'll say hi. He'll bark like a dog, <laughs> uh, <laughs> but he <laughs> probably won't do it uh, to you here. Oh. Now, even though these are legal to keep as as pets, you can keep them. You can. 
They're a lot of work, though, and they can live a long time. They can live 50, 60, really? even up to 70 years sometimes. So it's quite a commitment. Oh my God. And they, they can be very loud. They screech. And it can give you a, a pretty serious bite. So you have to give it a you lot say bite? of bite. Oh. I mean, look at that bill. Okay. Yeah. It's so beautiful. But they are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you for seeing me. I just <laughs> want to eat with you and talk to you. Is that okay sometime? Yeah. You want to take this one? There you go. You want to no. say hello? Uh, he doesn't seem to say hello, hello to the me. beautiful right. people. Okay, well, I'm going to just tell them more with David in a little bit. A few more animals, shall we? We'll be right back. <laughs> Y'all, we are back with David Reinhardt from the Wildlife Learning Center. And he has one more animal friend to share with us. Meet our animal friend with uh, <laughs> Oh, is. my God. Wally, and Wally is an American alligator. And I am determined today to get you to touch Wally. Now, Wally is a female American alligator. So she is about half the size half? that a male alligator can get. Male alligators can get 12 feet long and weigh 800 pounds. This one is... Yeah, about half the size of, of a male that could huh. get much bigger than this. Oh, David. Yeah. yeah, so you could come over. Come over. You can come over. And you could touch her. Come on. You're right. Touch. See these? These are... Okay, touch this. These are interesting. So you know reptiles have scales, right? Yes. These are special. See how hard that is? You're beautiful. Okay. Okay. Is that, that enough touching? That's enough touching. Okay, I'm gonna go back over here. <laughs> okay. Now these scales are called, yeah. So David, yeah. whew, what is the difference between an uh, alligator and a crocodile. And a crocodile? Well, crocodiles have much narrower snouts, so they're, they're much thinner. And uh, they tend to prefer brackish or salt water, whereas alligators are mostly found in fresh, in fresh water. And then when their mouth is shut, the crocodile's lower teeth will be exposed, whereas the alligator's upper teeth you see easier than you would um, on, a, on a crocodile. And we have, so this is the American alligator. We also have an American crocodile. And both occur in the southeast parts of the United States. Um, and that tape is keeping the mouth closed? She's a pretty nice alligator. She's not aggressive, but we just want to be ultra She looks like she's thinking about something. What do you think she's thinking? She... <laughs> They're not the smartest and most intelligent. She's smiling. She's you not, see not, her smiling? She's unintelligent. You see the smile? Don't nobody see her smiling but me. OK. She's just observing her surroundings. OK. Well, I'm going to stay right here. <laughs> but I got my good friend, Tashina. She, Tashina, you want to come meet her? Girl, I'm here. Come on out. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you to pet, too. Because I heard that you wanted an elephant named I after me. I wanted you? an elephant named after me. This isn't quite a, as it's exciting not an as elephant, an elephant. But you know what? All oh, animals, we love there all you go. animals. We love, we all, love animals. all animals. But they know how to run. So we're going to name this yeah, after you. Yeah, I was you. wondering how quick it is. You want to name it after we're me? We're going to name this after you. Oh, yay! Yeah. 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 I'm sorry it couldn't be an elephant. No, it's all good. But, thank yeah. you. Well, let's thank you for taking namesake. care of nature. Let's come and touch your namesake. Oh, my God. You're going to touch the Sheena. No, I'm going to do it. Can I do it while I'm behind you? Yeah, you can do that behind me. OK, here. Do it. There. 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 Ugh. You did it. Woo! You guys both did it. It's cold. It's cold, right? It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. It's cold. What is, what, so why do you have to think, like, everybody's been trying to do that to my mouth for years. So. <laughs> I don't. Tashina, I love you, baby. That's right. I love you, Tashina. <laughs>
everybody say hi to Christina. Thank you, David. Thank you, Jennifer. You're amazing. Okay, if you want to learn more about the Wildlife Learning Center in David's work, visit our website. You got an alligator named I got an alligator named oh after me. Thank you. We'll be right back. Our next guest might be the coolest grandma I have ever seen. She's a 73-year-old drummer who is about to rock the house, y'all. Please welcome Dorothea Taylor. Can you tell us how long you've been playing the drums? I started 60 years ago. 60 years yeah. ago. And even though there weren't female drummers at the time mm. that I knew of and not most people knew of, I just felt like I was a drummer. I was born to be a drummer. I felt the rhythm in everything I did. I took piano, but I still watched all the drummers, and I just had to do it. And so I joined the Drum and Bugle Corps and marched with them for six years, and I've been playing ever since. Oh, my goodness. I can't have you here and not actually give me a lesson. Can you give me okay. a drum lesson? I'll do it. You will? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I want to learn, too. Let me get out the way. And my drum's coming. OK. All right. I'm going to try, y'all. This is awesome. You think I can do it, Charles? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I got the best teacher right here. Come on. Look at her. She looks so cool <laughs> about it. I'm ready to try. All right, Dorothea. What I gotta do? Okay. Hold the sticks properly first, just like a V. Oh, oh, that's proper. Upside down V. Okay. So we're gonna start playing on the hi hats because the hi hats are what keeps the the going, the rhythm going. So we're just gonna do eighth notes with the right hand. One and two and three and four. Add the bass and two and three and four oh. and one and two and three and four and one and. Two. Now we're gonna start putting the snare in there. Two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, I got it. three, four. One, two, hey, keep up. three, four. One, and then you can start mess messing with the bass drum. I'm going to make you proud next time. But I heard you brought me something. You brought me something. I brought you, since you did so well, did I brought you something that you can practice with at home. OK. Oh! <laughs> and I signed it. And you signed it for me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. We'll be right back. If you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.